Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this third video on statistics for data science, I am going to discuss the concept of mode. Let us first see what you will learn in this video. First, I am going to discuss the introduction to mode for ungrouped data. Then we will see examples based on it. Next, we will see introduction to mode for group data and then examples on it. Let us proceed with the first point introduction to mode. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently in the data set. A data set can have one mode, more than one mode or no mode at all. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Here in example number one, we will see the data with one mode. Look at this data. Here there are five values, one, two, two, three and four. Out of these five values, this number two occurs twice. Therefore, mode of this data is two. Let us see another example. Here we will see this data will have two modes. Such data is also called as bimodal. Look at this data. It consists of values 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4. Since values 2 and 3 occurs twice, their frequencies are equal. Therefore, here mode is 2 and 3. Now let us see another example. In this example, you will see there is no mode. Look at the data. Data is 1, 2, 3 and 4. All the values in this data are distinct. Therefore, none of the value has more frequency. Therefore, there is no mode in this data. Now, let us see some more examples based on this concept. Here in this example, we are asked to find mode of the following data. This is the given data. Let us proceed for the solution. Here, we see the value 6 occurs 3 times. 1 here, 1 here and 1 here. Since this value is occurring more number of times than the other values, this is mode of the given data. So here mode is 6. Look at the next example. Once again, we are asked to find the mode of the following data. Let us see its solution. I see in this data value 17 occurs 4 times. Since this value is occurring more frequently than other values, 17 is the mode of this given data. I hope you understood both the examples. Now next we will see how to find mode of the group data. The mode of the group data is the value corresponding to the modal class. Modal class is the class interval with the highest frequency. Therefore, formula for the mode is given by L plus F1 minus F0 upon 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H, where L is the lower boundary of the modal class, F1 is the frequency of the modal class, F0 is the frequency of the class before modal class, F2 is the frequency of the class after modal class and H is class width. Now let us see examples based on mode of the group data. Here in this example, we are asked to find mode of the following data. Look at this data. This is a group data. First row has class intervals and second row has corresponding frequencies. Let us proceed for the solution. Let us first identify the modal class. The modal class is the class with the highest frequency. Here we see highest frequency is 20. Therefore, corresponding modal class is 30 to 40. Therefore, L which stands for lower boundary of the modal class is 30. F1 is the frequency of the modal class which is 20. F0 is the frequency of the class before modal class which is 15. And F2 is the frequency of the class after modal class which is 12. Here H is 10. You can see that the class interval has width 10 everywhere. Therefore, H is 10. Now we will substitute values of these variables into the mode formula, which is L plus F1 minus F0 upon 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Substituting these values and simplifying, we get mode is equal to 33.85. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now it is your turn to solve one example. Here I have given you the group data whose mode you have to find out. Don't worry, I am also giving you some hints. Its final solution is 43.64. Please write me in comment box whether you were able to solve this example or not. In my next video, I am going to discuss the concept of quartiles. By the time I publish that video, you please solve the examples discussed in my video. Keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.